everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to our Minecraft mod view with me. And today I'm covering an, a mod for certain. Um, questionable things to say about it, I suppose. It's it's got me feeling in two different ways, but I mean we'll get to it as we go, I suppose. So right, this is now it's officially titled Delhi's Anime Mod, but the mod itself is called Naruto Mod. And it is mostly filled with Naruto-based stuff, and, like, yeah, when you type in the thing here to, like, find all items, it is Naruto items that come up. So, or, or sorry, you, put, you type in Naruto here to get all the items to come up. So, I, it's a Naruto, and plus, even on the actual page itself, the person says, do, 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 where's the exact wording? This mod is adds, like, stuff that, uh, such as a bunch of Naruto characters, along with other characters... Uh, adds in weapons and da, da 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 This mod I made is because there was no 1.12.2 Naruto mod. So, he made it because there was no Naruto mod. So I'm just calling it an Naruto mod, I suppose. Sure, let's go with that. So, right, this mod, as I said, adds weapons, adds food, adds characters, adds NPCs. It is nowhere near the league of Matheox or Sequoia's mods. But it is Naruto stuff in 1.12.2, and sooner or later people are going to tell me about it, so I might as well cover it, because we might as well take a look at this. Plus, I mean, to be fair, if it's just the base of the mod, like, if they plan to build upon it, then, you know, it could end up being, like, nice. It's just, as it stands right now, it's not all that great a mod. It adds Naruto stuff into 1.12, but it's not all great a mod, so I wouldn't set your expectations too high for this one. But, alright, let's get into this, shall we? So, first up, weapons. Armor and whatever the hell this stuff is. It's, it's apparently two types of ore. Got legendary ore and sword ore. Sword ore gives you a sword gem. That gem does nothing. Uh, legendary gem gives you, well, the armor plus a pickaxe, which... I mean, it's a quick digging pickaxe, but it has like 100 durability. And this legendary block. I don't quite understand the point. It's, it sounds like... I'm not even sure what it sounds like. Dark? It sounds like dark getting placed. Alright, no, it's odd. So we've got this legendary pick. It... It's a pickaxe that moves quite quickly. It's got 100 durability. It's not anything too, too special. Weapons and stuff. Go for the top ones first, because, yeah. So, right, starting us off, we've got the kunai. It doesn't throw. It just holds it. It looks all right. It is an iron and a stick and gives us eight damage. Straight away, seeing that, I'm instantly thinking, oh, God, it's going to be one of those types of mods. And it is. It's going to be one of those types of mods. One of those types of mods where every item is ridiculously overpowered for no actual reason, and as soon as you get one of the good items, Minecraft pretty much becomes redundant because you're going to kill everything in front of you. I, I possibly could get balanced in the future. Possibly the diddle fix it in the future, but as it stands right now, it's a bit ridiculous. But right, okay. So yeah, we've got the kunai. Does 8 damage. Then we move on to the gold katana. 19 damage. It's 2 iron ingots and a, a stick. Does 18 damage. Or 19 damage, it says there. Okay. Then I've got the Gold Katana version 2, which has 24. By using blocks, you make a stronger version of it. We've got the Katana, which is stone. It does 14 or 13 damage. I don't know. I think it says 14 there, so I'll assume 14. We've got the Diamond Katana, which is diamonds. And then it does 23 slash 24 damage. Then we've got the Emerald Katana. <laughs> two Emeralds. 34 damage. 39 damage if you use blocks. Yeah, it's ridiculously overpowered items for the sake of being ridiculously overpowered. I, I'm not a fan that mods that do that. I prefer it when, you know, stuff's balanced. I can understand the idea of adding more powerful stuff. Like, for example, ore spawn adds in ridiculously overpowered items. But they're ridiculously overpowered because the mobs you're fighting in that mod are ridiculously overpowered. This mod doesn't add any mobs that are ridiculously overpowered. It adds in mobs that are honestly probably easier than the average Minecraft skeletons to be in a lot of cases. And then some of them are, like, you know, a bit stronger, but they're not really all that challenging. So, eh, really, the items shouldn't be this strong, but they are made this strong. Then we've got an item here called Death. I don't really know what to make of this item. Like, it's three blocks of coal to make it. It clearly is meant to be a staff thing, but it doesn't hold, like, a staff. It holds, like, an item. It doesn't do anything. Like, I don't know if it's meant to do something, but I can't get it to do anything. Eh, it just, just exists, I suppose, so does that. Right, let's go for armor next before we get onto the, the fancier weapons there. Oh, we'll get to them. So, all right, armor. There are two types of armor. There's this full body set of armor, which doesn't have any crafting recipe. It does weird eye things. I, I don't know why. I, I don't... It's it's just odd. The helmet does that for some reason. It adds in an extra layer for eyes. It actually mimics my eyes, weirdly. Um, 
<laughs> like, that's pretty much my eyes right there. Maybe the shade of red is slightly different, but still. Uh, I don't know if that's meant to be the idea of Sharingan, but obviously it's not Sharingan. They've not put the texture for Sharingan in there, so I don't know. But even then, putting a layer on top of your already layers isn't very good because then people have hair, it's going to go over that, and it doesn't look very good. It really needs to go in under there. Uh, and then this armor, for some reason, just doesn't load anything. This armor does. This armor loads in a texture. I have no idea what this is meant to be. But it loads in a texture for something. This puffy outfit. I, I'm i not sure what this is meant to be, though. Um, I mean, I want to think it's something Naruto-related. But I'm not. I, I generally, I'm racking my brains. I can't think of anything that actually looks like this. So, this is armor. And this is the stuff you can make using the legendary gems. Which I'm guessing you could find somewhere in the ground, but uh, it exists, we'll, just, we'll say that, it exists, plus, I mean, armor rating wise, it's absurd, so, I mean, it's absurd armor to go with absurd weapons, which, by the way, I'm not, like, wanting to hate on the mod or anything, like, it's quite a new mod, it's less than a month old and stuff, and obviously the creator that made it possibly isn't someone that's used to modding and stuff, so it's nice that they tried to put stuff, Naruto stuff into 1.12.2, but when I see something, it just seems a bit ridiculous i'm just gonna point out it's ridiculous i'm not trying to hate on her or anything like it's still nice that he tried to do this but you know realistically an emerald katana shouldn't be doing 34 damage unless you're fighting against mobs that have got hundreds upon hundreds of health really so at that point if i take this katana i'm gonna kill everything in front of me without any challenge and it's not exactly expensive to get or even the diamond one that at that point you're like, you know, you're set because that's a not like it's the same uh to co it's the same cost as a normal diamond sword but it does 24 damage. It's, you know, it's one of those ones. It's, uh, I, I never like mods that do that unless it's like or spawn where they add in really powerful mobs. Even I still don't like it when mobs, mods just add in like really super powerful weapons for no reason. Right, moving on from that though, I've then got the boss weapons. Now these textures all look very, very familiar. Actually, everything in here, all these textures here all look familiar. They're all from the Matheox mod. I don't know permission wise who's got what. I don't even know if Matheox had permission for his textures to be honest because... He ended up with, I think, a Sequa mod texture or something. I remember Sequa talking about it. So, I'll just go with it for now. So, right, weapons and stuff. We have got whatever that says. Basically, we've got, we've got a couple of the seven uh, swordsmen, the mist swords, which, yeah, there's what, four of them? Yeah, four of them. So, we've got that thing, Kuniberi Bocho, which isn't spelled correctly. The Kiba swords? I mean, these normally these are dual swords. And we've got the uh, Sami Hara. That's cool. They don't. Uh, yeah, they're a bit small. Let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> they're they're small size. They're not like full size. They don't go big like you might expect them to. They go like the size of a regular sword, though. That's a bit of a shame because they could have actually. If they were a bit bigger. If they were the full size and a bit puffier. Then they could have been quite cool to have. But alas, not so much. The hidden scythe, which. Honestly, jabs the wrong way. Uh, so that's that's a thing. Gamadra is gun bait. Okay, cool. And then we get the well, the Sage of the Six Pass staffs. The, the, the two varieties. Cool. These, I don't know, I'm pretty sure even the Matthews ones are a tiny bit bigger, but nah. Either way, these weapons all do ridiculous amounts of damage. Like, I, I actually don't know what the math behind them all is because, like, somehow I had to 78, but then Kadima Richard does 104, then that does 46. And that does 104. And he's still 104. I, I don't know what the dude's making this thought 100. I don't know why he did thought 104 was a good number to go with. But he did. And he's went with it for a lot of mods. Or a lot of weapons for the mods. So that's a thing. Alright. Well, I mean, it adds the weapons into the world. I suppose they're ridiculously overpowered. And they don't look as good as they possibly could. Because they're, like, they're tiny. But, I mean, they're there, I suppose, if you want to use them. Or if you like using overpowered weapons, I suppose. They're there. Now, uh, crafting-wise, I don't think any of them can actually be crafted. I'm pretty sure none of them can be. Uh, I'm pretty sure in order to get them, or at least some of them, you have to defeat certain mobs, which won't be too hard. We'll get to why in a minute. But right, before that, food and stuff. It, the bottom row is the only one I actually care about, but we'll go through this stuff really quick. So you've got anchovies, pizza, we've got apple jelly, apple jelly sandwich, apple juice, apple smoothie, misspelt smoothie there, chocolate, Chocolate milk, unless I just don't remember how this smells smoothie. Uh, we've got these drinks, which, I mean, these are... Ah, we'll get to them. I've got tomatoes. I'm guessing that's maybe sauce. Uh, we've got tomato, we've got bacon, we've got apple cider. This stuff can get crafted. Well, that can anyway. Well, the bottle stuff can anyway. 
I don't know how you craft, like, alright, that can grab, craft it. I don't know, like, how you get to that. I'll possibly find that, like, somewhere. Uh, bacon, you can take, uh, cook pork chop to create bacon. Apple cider, doesn't seem to have a crafting recipe. Apple juice, an arrow, for some reason. A bottle, an apple, apple juice, okay. Apple jelly sandwich, apple jelly and bread, okay. Apple jelly, apple in glass. Possibly that's why they've not got apple cider as an apple in a bottle, is because they've got it here. I end the pizza. Can't craft that either. Uh, we've got these cans, though. Uh, we've got the strength energy drink. It, they're all spelt weird. Stealth, speed, and haste. I, I don't... It's possible the creator of this, like, English might not be their first language. Or they're just... I don't know. Maybe they're doing it intentionally to, like, make it... Give it a weird name. I don't know. But anyway. Um, got these four drinks. You drink them, you get an effect. You get strength, you get stealth, or invisibility. You get speed, and you get haste. Uh, you get this... It's level 1 for 30 seconds when you uh, drink or uh, drink slash eat each of them. So, there's that. Things I actually care about, though. Bottom stuff. Again, ripped from the Matthew mod, it does look like. We have got vodka, beer, sake, whiskey, and ramen. Yays. Ramen, obviously, you eat for food. The drinks, though. I like the drinks. The drinks do nice things. The drinks act like alcohol should... Oh, you can drink it anyway. There we go. Basically, it just makes you woozy for 30-odd seconds, which... I, mean, I always enjoy having a bit of alcohol in the game. Mainly, I enjoy having sake in games that are like Japanese mod, like type mods or themed mods in them, like Naruto and stuff. Like when I think Naruto, I think, oh, I'd like to have sake in there, just because I like the idea of it. But yeah, well, that's that's in, I guess. So we can technically do it. We can technically get drunk. No crafting recipes. Don't know where you'd actually get them from, but what's that? Same with the ramen. Ramen has no crafting recipe. Possibly plan for them to add like a way to get them slash craft them later on in the game or. Like a trader or something gives you them. I don't know. I don't know what the creators got planned for this mod. It would be. I mean, okay, we don't have any Naruto stuff in 1.12.2. So, like, it would be good seeing this mod get updated. Like, up, like update the swords so, like, they're the proper sized and updating the outfits so they look like Naruto outfits and, you know, balancing the weapons and stuff so, you know, they don't do ridiculous amounts of damage because why are they doing that when there's no ridiculous health mobs and stuff? It would be cool if they just made the little tweaks like that just to make the mod a little bit, you know nicer because like this doesn't seem like unfixable i don't actually know i don't know anything about coding and mod making and stuff maybe it is unfixable i don't know i don't know how it works but i assume it could be fixed if creator person works on it right anyway maybe not there last thing mobs there's a bunch of them uh right okay so all right mobs let's we'll start with the ombu stuff ombus place them down ombu 10 health that's pretty much it they act, I believe they kind of act like zombies. I'm very sure they're just retextured zombies uh, with different health. The uh, basic Ombu ones all have 10 health. And a fun thing, because they're based off zombies. Come on, do it. I've seen you do it before. Do it. Because they're based off zombies, you can get baby ones as well. I'm trying to get baby ones to spawn. Why won't you spawn? There it is. I can get baby ones to spawn because they're based off zombies, so you can get small Ombu people floating around as well, if you fancy it. That's the thing. But yeah, okay, these look alright. Yeah, these are like, you know, different texture Ombu people floating around. They don't move particularly fast. They don't hit particularly hard. I'm pretty sure they do like one damage. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, they're Yeah, they're not particularly all that good. Possible update, make them a wee bit quicker so they're actually like scary Ombu. Make them throw kunai or something. I don't know. But right, uh, so there's them. Then after that, we've got the Ombu bosses. They are basically just Ombu again, but they've got 20 health. 30 health, 30 health, and 30 health. So 1 to get 20, 3 to get 30. Strangely enough, we've also got Ombu 1, 2, 3, and 5. 4 has just went missing. We don't know where 4 is. 4 has just took a vacation. So, um, what's that too? But yeah, so the boss ones, not really much of a boss, because they're only like 20, 30 health. When you take one of these weapons, like the gold katana, you will annihilate them. Even the boss ones. And they don't really hit all that hard back. And they drop rotten flesh because, well, they're beast skin zombies. Possibly now change, change it so, you know, they drop ninja stuff. Like kunais or, I don't know, something like that. Uh, maybe after I go to the next row, we have got Orochimaru. 50 health. Okay. Bit stronger. Bit nicer. I'm going to regret going in game mode for a second. Again, though, like, he doesn't do all that much. I mean, actually, well, I'm wearing armor, so he can't really do anything. But, I mean, again, I need to kill this lot. But, well, now they're getting some damage. Now they're getting some damage in, given that I'm finally breaking through my armor. 
He's like, no, uh, uh. none of them hit particularly hard. Like, basically, I'm wearing this armor, and, like, Eric Chimar can't do, do any damage to me for ages. Like, these are guys have all got to pound me all at once in order to do any damage to me. So, you know, this is... Uh, or it takes them two hits to do anything. Also, oh, God, there's so many of them. Why is there so many of them? Right, I'm going to switch back out. <laughs> oh, I don't fancy dying here. Hey, right, just to show, uh, all the weapons have all got, like, 100 durability as well. But, yeah, they're not ridiculously strong. So, like, I, I don't know what the call for these really super-powered weapons are. When they're not all that strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the reason I was having a trouble there is because, because we had a lot of numbers in it. But anyway, so we've got Ruchimaru. We've got Shinari. 50, uh, 50 health as well. That's pretty much it, though. Like, I don't think she heals. She doesn't, like, heal or anything. She doesn't do anything uh, specific. I've got Jiraiya, who is also a retextured zombie. Thus, he can create mini Jiraiya if we want to. <laughs> right. That's the thing, I guess. Uh, we've got Madara, which, yeah, heals the gunbite. He will do a lot of damage when he hits you, because he's got the strength of the gun by, like, in his hand. So basically, he'll do, like, 100 odd damage when he hits you, because the gun has got 104 damage, and it counts as him holding that weapon. Although, if we kill him... Oh, he's got 1,000 health. There we go. There's, there's no point with actual amount of health. I never even noticed there was one with lots of health. Honestly, I've been fighting against, like, I've been seeing a bunch of the mobs. I didn't know he'd notice that one had a lot of health. Right, he's got more health. Still, though, even if he's maybe considered a boss... It doesn't do anything specific. It'll just run and it'll hit you with that weapon. That's basically it. There's a chance it'll drop it when you kill him. In which case, your weapon does 104 damage. In which case, then you could fight this boss again and beat him in 10 hits. Which is a bit easy for a boss fight, to be honest. But yeah, possible thing for Madara. Make it so he shoot stuff. Make him shoot fire or something. Because he's Chia. Make him move a bit quicker. All that kind of stuff. Make him a bit more scary. Make him even go invisible, maybe, or something. I don't know. Oh. But yeah, kill him. There we go. Drop the gun, bye. Load your, uh, load your belly left, but still 104 damage. Insane. Uh, other than that, we've got Kabuto, which, yep, yeah, it's got 10. Scrub. Uh, we've got Fu. The, okay, it's kind of weird, like, for the mobs in this, some of them are just very, very, very random. And I don't understand why they're in. Like, the likes of Fu and Kabuto, why are they in exactly? But, like, the rest of the, the whatchamacallit, the rest of the... Tinchiniki, that's the word. The Tinchiniki aren't in. I don't know, bit odd. Possibly plan to add them in later. But either way, it's just, it's odd the ones he chose to start with. Gara's in. Again, Gara's gonna get 10 health as well. Possibly plans to change this stuff later where Gara will have more health and can do something. But right now, all he'll do is run and punch you. That's all the older, pretty much. So, what's that? Next up. Bamers just going through lines here. Next up, we've got Genin's. Am I seeing things? Does that one have a pumpkin on its head? I swear that little one a minute ago had a pumpkin on its head. But all right, we've got Genin. He did. They exist. They're things. They've got low health. Not surprising. We've got Karin. Yay, he's Karin only has 10 health as well. So again, like, I, they don't even have 10. I don't know why they only have 10. It, they're, they're so weak. They're so pitiful. Got these strong weapons though. Naruto, also at 10. Bop. Also drops flesh. Zabuza, at 10, but holding that sword, meaning one. You might be able to get the sword off him. I mean, he didn't drop it there. Hold on, can we, like, kill him again? Will he drop it, or is it the other one that drops it? Oh, yeah, Minotaur's here as well. But he doesn't have much health either, though. You want to drop your sword? Possibly he's not the one that drops his sword. There's a second Zabuza that can drop the sword. I know that. This one possibly doesn't. But this one still does 104 damage when it hits you because it's holding that sword. So that's the thing. We've got Cloud, just a random Cloud Ninja, I assume. I'm not actually sure. I don't know if that is actually... I don't think that's the Cloud outfit, but... I just assumed it was a cloud ninja when I saw him, so... Blah, blah, blah. Right, yeah, so we've got them. Just put that away really quick. Grab these two. Got Kakashi. We've got Daedra as well. Daedra doesn't explode, though, or anything. Daedra just sort of chills and... Yeah. Boop. And um, we've got Kakashi. It just... Yeah, it looks like Kakashi. Not a lot to say about these things. They are, like, they are just... A lot of them are just 10 health and don't do very much. Like, like I could go and survive and show off, but all they do is run an attack. You know, I don't feel like showing that for each and every one. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the last lot of the Naruto ones, anyway. We've got Obito, also 10 damage. Holding 104 weapon, though. So, scary stuff there, I suppose. Die you. We've got Sakura, also 10 health. Everyone's in line with Sakura and being, like, at the same level of usefulness. Mini, so we've got mini um, Sasuke there because he's based off a zombie. Uh, we've got Shino. Shino apparently is a bit of a... Missing texture bug right now. Never mind. I mean, 
appropriate given he is a bug person. Okay, sure. He he gets a bug. He's a bug person. Right. Okay. Cool. I uh, get Deidre again. I just put him back again. Apparently, got a six pass. He, his legs are a bit wrong. The other way, get six pass. Obito. He doesn't really do anything though. Like if I. Yeah, like, I mean, he, may, he, does, he does a tiny bit more damage than other ones, possibly, but that's it's not by much. I'm wearing this armor that was provided to me, and he's not really able to hurt me all that much. Plus, he has 10 health. Also, he vanished. Hold on. Come again, friend. There we go. If I take this off, how much do you do? He does, he does one and a half. Not really all that impressive, really, is it? Right, so now we've got that. We've then got the Zabuza. This guy will kill you because he does 100 for damage. Because he's, he's holding that sword. Just thought I'd show that at least once because, well, it's there. Did he vanish again? Yes, they apparently vanish after the day. That one is the boss one that can drop his sword, but he only has 10 health again. So, like, he's not really much of a boss one, but he can drop 104 damage weapon. Bit men, oh. But yeah, that's it pretty much for the Naruto based stuff. There are a few other little extras in here, which I'm assuming is why he's calling it an anime mod, not just a Naruto mod. But yeah, I uh, get likes of. I'm gonna go and. Game mode C for this because there's no point being in other modes. We've got Kiji, who seems to hold. Wait, what? Oh no, that's just because the zombies picked up a sword. Cool. We've got a blacksmith. Don't know why it's a random blacksmith. We've got Toriko. Cool. Never really watched this show. We've got Law from One Piece. Brook West. Name sounds familiar. I don't know who that is though. We've got Brook. We've got Ace. That's 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 it for the extra stuff. It's in, I suppose. It's textures, I guess. They're all wait, they don't do anything. They're just they're just there. But yeah, again, this month this this month. This mod's only a month old. Or it's not even a month old. So I mean obviously it could get worked on, things could get changed up, characters and mobs could get made to actually do stuff and things, the weapons could get maybe fitted to be a bit bigger rather than them being ordinary sword size. I don't know. I don't know what this, I don't know the skill level of the person making this mod is. And like obviously I don't want to just like sit and just insult the mod because it's like a fairly new mod. The person's obviously tried. It's nothing insane. Uh, I, I obviously I'm not a big fan of like the obviously the, the weapons that just being so overpowered, armor being overpowered, and that especially when all the mobs are so weak. So I mean, eh. take from what you will. But 1.12.2, if you want to shove a couple of Naruto things into your world, basically if nothing else you want to get sake in your world, then there you go. Here's a mod for it. You can have a go, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod. Then fairly small, fairly simple. But all right. Anyway then, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. This has been Delhi's anime mod slash Delhi's Naruto mod. I don't know, it feels more like a Naruto mod than any other mod because it's mostly Naruto based stuff in it. And it's called Naruto, but then it's called an anime mod. I don't know, I don't know what he's got planned for it. Maybe he plans to put lots of different things in it. Maybe he just plans for Naruto stuff. I'm not sure. But anyway, we can keep an eye on it and see if updates come in the future because possibly some of this stuff could get fixed and made noise. Possibly not. I don't. It depends what the creator person decides to do with it. But right, anyway though, Thank you all very much for watching. And uh, link will be down below if you want to just check the mod out. Again, this is 1.12.2, so I mean it's it's something for 1.12.2 that's not a toyish based. And I guess if you like overpowered weapons and stuff, then you could play with them, but da It's if it tickles your fans to go for it. But right, anyway though, thank you all for watching. See you all next time for our Minecraft mod review with me, with whatever mod I end up reviewing next. I don't know, probably some randomy one that I just randomly find. But yeah, see you all in for that. Thank you all for watching. Go! Bye, everybody.